Yep. Hi guys. Um, good morning, all of you. Hope all of you can hear me. Anyone, guys, can you please confirm? Is a model, guys? Hello. Is a model, guys? Anyone? Yes, sir. Right. Right. So, guys, like, um, like we'll continue with the last session. So in the last session, we started with what is merge concept, what is merging we covered, guys. And coming to the merging, so we have discussed about what are the different types of merge options are there, like I've shown you, like which is nothing but um, I can say something like inner joins, outer joins, left outer, right outer. We have a full outer joins. What is left anti? What is right anti? So these are all going to be some different types of joins, guys. So simple to say that, Simple to say that inner joints will display only and only the matching records, guys. Only matching records will be displayed. So whatever the records that are matching in both the tables, only those particular records are going to come. What is outer joints will come, guys? Outer joints is going to get the data which are matching plus as well as which are not matching record or non-matching records, what we can say that. That means the records which are there in both the tables as well as the values which are there in one table, but not available in other table. And whereas the concept of anti-joins, guys, in anti-joins, we are having two types of anti-joins, left anti, right anti. We don't have any full anti-joins are not available. What is this anti-join says that? Anti-joins are basically says that, which is going to be only the records which are non-matching. That means simple to say that it excludes all the matching records, simple. It excludes all the matching records and display only the non-matching records will be displayed. So that's why in inner joins, in outer joins, we have a left outer join is there, right outer join is there, full outer join is there. And apart from that, in anti joins, we are having only left anti and we have a right anti joins are there. So this is how the joins will be performed. And even as I said that merge concept is nothing but same like your joins in SQL. There are going to be just like in joins, how the joins will be there in SQL. Same as it is, it is going to be how to write that SQL queries also. I have just given some idea about that. I didn't show you practically, but I've shown you how to write it. And don't think that this merge concept is there only in Power BI concept only. Almost all in database, it is there. Even when you work with anywhere, guys, almost all wherever you work with the data, even in Python also will work with them, guys. If it is possible, I'll show you once. So in Python, how do you write the script? Instead, I've shown you how to write it in SQL. I have to write a select statement. Whereas in Python, we have to work with some methods will be there. So simple, we'll have a data frame will be there. Directly, there is a method called as a merge concept. It's a syntax like this, guys. df dot, what is going to be merged? And we have to write left table, who is on right table, and how to perform the joining based on what column. Okay, on which column you want to do the joining, all these extra syntaxes will be there. Who is the left table? Who is the right table? on what column you want to join and how to join it. Here only we have the inner is there. We have a left is there. We have a right is there. We have a full outer joins like that. We'll be having the joins concept. So this merging or joins concept is not specifically only that is available in Power BI guys. Almost all everywhere throughout almost all wherever you work with the data everywhere we are having this option to work with this uh, what we can call it as the merge concepts what we can work with them. Okay. So in the last class, I have shown you one practical example, uh, how to work with that. I have shown you with a, a small data set I have shown you guys, isn't it? A small data set I have shown you. So what I'm going to do today here is guys, we'll do some kind of a case study we'll do it guys. One simple, which is going to be some kind of a case study we'll do it here now. So with a little bit larger data sets. So hope all of you understood what is left outer, what is right outer. What is inner joins? What is anti joins? What is uh, left anti, right anti? So we have this kind of a joins concept is there. So today what we are going to study here is guys, we are going to study something about a, a small case study which is related to uh, this particular joins concept guys. So what is the concept here is, I'm going to take some data sets guys. Okay, let me show you what are those particular data set. First, let us study the data first of all. After that, we can go for the implementation guys. Okay. I'll share the data sets. Uh, you can take that particular data sets and you can work on that. So let me show you the data sets also, guys. Let me show you the data sets. Let me show you. So these are your data sets, guys. See there, it's not just a single single data set. We are having a multiple files we have it, guys. Okay. So let me open this. Let me explain the data. First, we have to understand the data first of all, guys. 
So remember, whenever you want to merge the data sets, what we have to do, guys? Whenever you want to merge the data, what we have to do, guys? We have to, first of all, we have to understand the data. What is the data? What is the relation between them? First of all, we have to identify them, okay? Let us have a look into that. This is the data, guys. So what is the data is about? This data is all about something about the, what we can see. Very clearly, we can see, guys, it is going to be something about the, the data related to, which is going to be the sales of the cars, guys. So you can see the sales of the cars. So we know that, right, there are going to be some uh, companies which are selling the pre-owned cars. That means the cars which are already used, that particular data set. See there, sales ID. Okay, what is the name of the car? You can see the name of the car. What is the year of, uh, what is the model? What is the year of the manufacturing? So you can see 2014, 2016, 2016 is there, 2012 is there, 2018 is there, something 2018, 2019, the data was there. What is the selling price? At what price they have sold? And what is going to be the number of kilometers they have driven? And what is the city code? See their city is CT01, CT028. CT so from which city the, the that particular um, the car was sold, guys? That is what we can call it as the city code. But what is the city belongs to? It is saying that CT01, CT12, CT21, CT03. But what are those? What are the cities? And even we are having something called as in states, ST15, ST11, ST28. So we don't have any, we don't know about them. And apart from that, what is the postal code? What is the fuel type is there? Diesel, LPG, petrol, we have a data, CNG, etc. What is the seller type? Who is the seller type, guys? So whether there are individual, whether there are going to be individual cars, uh, who is the seller type? From where they have brought it, whether it's from a dealer, etc. And who is the owner, first owner, second owner, third owner, fourth owner, and all these things we have the data. Mileage, how many miles, engine capacity, what is the maximum power, number of seats. This is the data what the we have it, guys. See there? So it is the data related to some car sales data, guys. Car sales data means uh, the companies which will buy the, uh, uh, which they will buy the cars from the various individuals and etc. And then they are going to sell these particular cars to various customers, used cars, pre-owned cars, what we'll say them. So this is the data what, what they are having with them. So, but out of this, so how many rows are there? Let me check it out here, guys. Total, how many rows are there? There are 7,906 are there. It's showing 7,907. I think all of you have the idea. 7,907 is, one is header. So if I exclude that one header, remaining 7,906 records, we have it, guys. Now, whether this car was sold or whether car was not sold. So this company has brought the calls from various customers, but out of them, some, many, some of the cars may be sold, some of the cars are not sold. So where is that? Whether the cars were sold or not sold, how do you identify that? So for that, we have this particular data is there. There is another data set was there, guys. See there? There is going to be something called as an, we have a column called as, what is going to be sales status was there, guys. What is the name of the file? Name of the file. It is sales status dot, which is going to be CSP file. Let me open the file, guys. Can observe carefully. This is, there is a sale ID was there and whether the car was sold or not. Y or S or no. Y or N. Y stands for S. N stands for which is going to be no. There will be there, guys. Don't worry. There is some S and there is going to be no data was there. Now observe carefully, guys. Which car status it is? It is the sale ID. So if you can observe carefully, here we have one sale ID, guys. Here we have one sale ID here now. So this sale ID will match us with this sale ID. So I want to combine both the data. For example, I want to create some reports. From which city, how many cars are sold? How many cars are not sold? All the city information is available in one file and whether the sale status is available in a different file. So it is available in two different files. It was available. So what we have to do? We have to merge both these data sets. We have to merge based on what criteria this sales ID and this sales ID has to match. And what type of relation it exists, guys? It is purely one-to-one -one relationship is there. It is a purely one-to-one -one relationship will be there, guys. Why it is a one-to-one -one relationship? Here, the sales ID is going to be one. What is the status of this sales ID one? That information is available here, guys. See there, this is going to be one, which stands for S. That means this car was sold. They have sold the car. Some cars they didn't sold. Some cars they have sold, guys. So if you can see, the data is going to be something like this, what we can see. One and this one. 
So obviously, whenever it is one to one relationship, here also we should have 7906 records only, guys. Check it out. Here also we have exactly 7906 records are there. Here also we have 7906 records are there. It is completely one to one mapping, guys. It's yesterday we discussed it is many to one. But here it is completely, it is one to one mapping what we can see. See, this is the data what we can see. One to one mapping is there here, guys. Okay. So we have to join. So easy. So first table is going to be sales transaction. And second table is going to be nothing but what we can see, it is going to be sales status. And in that, what is a mapping column is there? The mapping column is nothing but the sales ID from left table and sales ID from right table. And it's a purely inner join only, guys. It's a purely inner join is there. Why? Because it is completely one to one. So we can go for something what we can call it as the inner join, what we can say here, guys. That is completely inner join here. Next. Okay. So sales status is over. But I want to know what, what is the city name? Here Anji, I have the for city a, name. For a one to one yes. relationship, hmm. it's always uh, inner join. Uh, generally, one to one relationship. See, one to one relationship does not mean that always it should okay. be inner join only. But uh, the idea here is see, this is the data what we have it. Just to make you understand the concept, uh, let me show you the data here now. Just give me a second. Right. So see this, for example, let us say that this is just easy to understand that. Let's, let us say this is some set A and this is going to be some set B is there. Let us say this one, two, three, four is there. Here we have one, two, three, four, five is there. Now observe carefully one, two, one, one, two, 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 three, two, three, four, two, four. So if you observe carefully, the five is left over. So it can be outer join also. I'm not saying that, but why I can say that it is going to be there, it is going to be it is one to one relation is one to one. Okay. It does not matter. It is an inner joint. Why I'm saying inner joint? Why? Because is there in the left table, we have 7,906 records are there in B also we are having 7,906 records are there. Exactly. Both of them are having the same number of records, right? So that both is the reason. Are the number of records. We can go for a inner oh, joint. That means values are matching. See. Yeah. Uh, the, the thing is, for example, just to make you understand that, let us say that this is your easy to understand because 7,906 records. Let us say that there is a data was there. What is the data? For example, car sales. This is a car sales data was there. So just an example, what is your sales ID was there? So I'm talking about a sales ID. One, two, three, four, five. Total, I have five cars are there. But in the sales status, for example, in the sales status table is there. So whether the car was sold, whether the car was not sold, sales ID was there. Let us say that this is what is the sales status is there. One, it is sold by two, it is no three, it is S. So now if you can observe carefully, how many cars are there currently with you? How many cars are there totally? Five. Five. But how many cars status you updated here? Three. Only three. So then see the join type is the inner join only. So the join type is the one to one only. But here, there are two records are there, which records has been not updated. So if you want to know, like how many cars data was updated for how many cars the data was not updated. If you want to know, like, for example, if you do the inner join between them, what happens with the inner join? We'll get how many records will come now? Three. Only three will come. You don't get this four and the fifth record. But you have to find out, right? Is there any car status may not be updated? Mm -hmm. Then I'll go for the left outer join, what I can see. But right. how I can confirm that it is an inner join because is here also we have five records. For example, here also we have a five records are there. So by using that, it is one to one relationship. One to one relationship means one record will be mapped with one record only. From here, one record will be mapped to one record only. So for one record, mapped is one record. So here also okay. five records, here also five records means all records are matching, I can say, right? Hmm. Isn't it? For example, yeah. if I have six here now, for example, then I cannot confirm that. Isn't Again, it? In so the six joint, is not matching. Yeah. Yeah. This is six is not matching. Here is five is not matching. But number of records is going to be uh, five. Here also number of records is five. Isn't it? So yeah. it's generalization. Only I'm talking about that. Being it is an in because I can see seven thousand nine hundred six. So what is my expectation? How many cars data was there starting from sales ID one up to whatever the seven thousand nine hundred six or seven thousand? Uh, how much record is there? I think IDs we can see. We are having up to 8,128 is there. Number of records may be 
as you can see that 7908 but maybe internally some records maybe it's not maybe in a sequence somewhere the sequence was missing there so if really if the say, data is in a sequence we have to get 7906 but you are not getting the 7906 isn't it so okay fine leave it does not matter same ids are also available in a, another table also which is nothing but sales underscore status is there let okay. me open the sales underscore status here also sale id is one started with one only and ended with there also we can see 8100 and somewhere okay. around 29 but number of records are 7906 records only. okay okay so i can say that being every row is matching generally i am saying that okay being every data is going to be matching there so it is going to be the inner join what i can say i don't have any extra records there i don't have any extra records here now that's why i'm saying that it is an inner join okay fine next coming to the this what is this city code guys city code is nothing but we are having something like ct01 ct28 ct12 ct21 etc so what i will do now where is the city's data was there there are any of the file is fine guys whether you use a csv file or whether you use an excel sheet both of the datas are the same data only so what i am going to do guys simple i am going to open this particular file simple to make you see that this is going to be the data here guys so what is that city master so we can see ct01 so stands for mumbai ct02 stands for pune ct03 it is chennai so if you want to know like from which city how many cars are sold in which city how many cars are not sold so we have to merge these three tables why because all the car sales information is there here whether the car was sold or not sold that is available in a different table okay and from which city it was stored i can say if you, if you want ct01 ct02 i can give like this but i want to get the city name city names are available in a different table like this we have to work with multiple tables we have to work like this guys so this is going to be city data then i want to get from state data is there so right now i can't identify but once you go to analysis we'll understand it guys what is the state code st15 st11 st28 where is that information is there that information is there in the state master.xlsx file so it is there in the so your total information is available in maybe two csv files guys and two excel sheets i'll take it so what is st01 totally there are 36 states are there but maybe the sales may not be available in all the states guys we'll see automatically it will tell you right how many rows are matching how many rows are not matching it will clearly tells you okay so first what you have to do guys first let us import all these four or five files we'll import it first of all guys okay so let me open our uh, power bi file first of all <clears throat> this is a file batch 930 am let me open the file guys right so these are going to be the files what we uh, we already worked with this so you can see very clearly guys so initially do you remember a few days back maybe hardly just it is going to be five days six days back one week before the number of tables are just hardly seven tables but today we have got these many tables what we got how you got all these tables guys why because yesterday we added almost all six tables we have added six or five tables we added six tables left inner join left outer join right outer join full outer join left anti join right anti join all these six tables we added extra yesterday how you added we didn't import it and even this emp dpt also we added extra only guys so eight tables we have inserted in the last two classes we inserted remaining we imported earlier only but these eight tables almost all eight tables we imported so today again i'm going to do one example guys let me create a new uh, group guys I'm just creating a new group. What is the group name? Let us say that it is going to be, I say merge case study guys. Yes. Anyone guys, any questions? No, no, nothing. Right. Okay. So I have to import the data run guys. So merge case study. So let us import the data. First of all, new query first import the text or a CSV file. So let me go back to the data here. So here I have the data is there cars data set. I'll share the data sets guys car sales transaction. First import the car sales transaction. One by one, one by one. 
it contains only the car's information but whether it was sold whether it was not sold that information was not available here guys we have the car's information is there but whether the car status whether it was currently is in uh, sale status is what whether it was sold whether it was not sold that information was not available where is that information is there that information is available in a, another csv file what is that sales status dot csv file guys so this car sales id one sales id one guys clearly we can see this one here also we have a one the car was sold why some cars are not sold guys okay click on load the okay the data will be loaded guys okay one more two more tables guys there are coming from excel sheets so let us import from excel workbook two excel files are there one is city master dot xlsx file what is the city master stands for the city uh, code and what is the city name we have the data is there see there you know that no guys directly csv file means we can directly import it but excel workbook means it will contain the sheet even one sheet is there also we have to specify and do you observe carefully guys column names are not prepared properly see the column names carefully column one column two column three okay fine i'll select the table here guys click on okay no worries later you know how to modify that okay data was loaded guys data was loaded but see clearly you don't have the column headers properly guys so you know what we have to do now simple we already know the option now guys use the first row as a header then the first row will become the header here and you also do one thing guys sheet one sheet two means you can't understand them rename them guys everything should be renamed so what is the sheet name this is let us say that city master it is nothing but city master city master is already there okay i think city master table was sheet was already there guys i'll do one thing otherwise i think already we imported it separately so now no worries i can delete it and i will rename this guys rename this so i'm going to be re sorry i'm going to rename this it is going to be nothing but city master next same as it is we have a another excel sheet is there so let us import all the excel sheets like this state master data was there click on which is going to be open again same process guys it will show you all the preview of the data sheet one so here also column names are not properly it has been uh, we have been not done click on okay guys so data was loaded here now again same thing headers are there at the first row so you know what we have to do use a first row as a header make it as a first row otherwise column one column two will be left over okay and this is a state code even if you want you can name it also guys what is the name of this particular file let us say that it is state master state table here okay hey. fine so totally we have taken four tables guys car sales table will contain the sale the car's information all the car sales transactions whether the car was sold or not sold it was there in sales status and the from which city that was stored that city code the city name is available here and from which state it was sold and what is the state name that is available here okay so what shall i do now first i cannot merge i want to merge all these four tables guys i have to merge all these four tables but i cannot merge all the four tables at a time as we already know that we can merge only two tables at a time <laughs> so what we are going to do now so first what we am going to do guys merge queries so i don't want to disturb this table guys car sales table and sales transaction i don't want to disturb the existing table that's why merge the queries as a new okay so at which tables car sales transaction should be merged with which table guys the sales status table i want to go for see that on the left hand side you see the tables this is sales status table and you know what are the column names id sales id and sales id has to match see there guys whenever we apply the inner join clearly it is showing you the message saying that see the put a pointer there guys very clearly it is showing you that the selection matches 7906 rows of 7906 from the first table and even from the second table also guys 7000 exactly you can see that 7906 of 7906 so previously you have somebody has asked me right so how can you know that it is a inner join by looking at this data i can understand it guys see perfectly 7906 with 7906 is matching and from the right table also exactly 7906 and 7906 matching so every row matches from here to there and every row that is there that is having a matching record here that's why i said inner join okay click on okay you know that it is going to create a new table but we we have to do one thing guys 
we have to expand the table here now because we have to get the columns. I don't want the sales ID, but I just want to know the sold status. I don't want any extra column names as a prefix. Okay. So it will tell you that cars which are sold and the cars which are not sold guys. Scroll down. You can see the number of records. You have to just go down. So all don't think that all of them are going to be sold. Some of them are sold. Some of them are not sold guys. No, leave it does not matter. So let us do one thing. This name I'll take it as which is going to be car underscore sales table. I'll say that it is going to be car underscore sales table. I'll write it here guys. See there we have got car sales. So what I did guys these two tables I have merged that is car sales transaction and sales status table and I have merged these two tables and created a new table called as a car sales. Now in the car sales we are having the cars data is there as well as what is the sales status is also there guys. Basically this column is available in different table. These columns are available in different tables. Both we have merged and we have created a new new table. Okay, so sales status got. But what is your city ID? What is the city code, etc.? So these are going to be city in, city this, car sales, in this car sales uh, table. We have uh, two data, right? Two da data, which is uh, sales transaction and then sold status. Sales status. Okay. Uh, sales status. What are the sales status? From there, I have got only one column only. Basically, there are two columns are there. In sales status, how many columns are there? Just two hmm. columns, right? Yeah. So this sales ID I don't require because the same sales ID is available here also, right? Right, correct. So that's why while selecting, while expanding what I did, I just so, see this table. Uh, while expanding what I did, I have selected only the column called as only the sold column only I have selected. I didn't select the sales ID. That means out of these two tables, our expectation is to see the sold status only, right? Yes, it's sold status across C. Um, let us say that for city wise, how many are there state right. wise? see, if you want to know how many cars are sold, how many cars are not sold that information, you can get it from this table itself directly. Yes. Okay. Just for the uh -huh. timing, I'm showing you how many cars are sold, how many cars are not sold. Don't worry. Later I'll again explain the concept. Very easy. You can find it out. See there, how many cars are sold, how many cars are not sold, not sold. out of 7,906, 2000 cars, they sold still 5,906 cars are not sold. Yeah. Okay, but if the same information, if you want to get across the different cities in different cities, how many cars we sold in different states, how many cars we have and we have been sold. If you want to get fuel type, how many are there or ownership type, how many you want to require. So then we have to merge the two tables. That For information now, car transaction and sales status have a common ID, which is sales ID, sales ID. Depend upon that, you mm. did enter join and then yes. a new table is created, which new is table is score yes. sales. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Right. And exactly, we have again the same 7906 records will be there here also. So we'll be having 7906 records. We have been merged, but extra one more column we have got extra here now. Only just one column extra yeah, compared okay. with so, the two the sales transaction yeah. table. Okay. Fine. Right. Just give me a second. Right. Fine. Now come to the application. Okay, so this is over. But the problem here is I can find it, but I want to know, see, if I want to know, um, like uh, what is the seller type, how many cars you sold, how many cars are not sold, or fuel type, how many cars are sold, how many cars are not sold, we can find it out. But if you want to know what is the city name, what is the state name, that information is not available here. So what shall I do now? So what I want to do is already by merging these two tables, we created one new table. Now this table and this table has to merge, but don't create again a new table because already this table is merged, right? So we merged these two tables and we created a new table. Now this table and this table, we are going to merge again back to the car sales table only. So select the car sales table. See the difference here, guys. I'm not creating a new query. I want to merge into the existing query only. Okay. So merge this query with another query within the same file only, not in a different file. See, already yesterday I told you. Whenever I said merge queries, the left table is already selected. We can't change it. So you want to merge this table, which table you want to merge the table, which you want to merge is going to be nothing. But first I'll do for city master or state master will do that. So you can see here this state code and this state code has to match and observe carefully. Let us go for the inner join. Let us go for the inner join and verify guys. See there. totally. If we can observe carefully, from the first table, you can see all the 7906 records are matching there. There is no problem at all. That means for every record, 
whatever the state code is there, every state code is available in the whatever the state master table is there. But can observe carefully, there is saying there is something other information was there. What is that other information it is saying here is there are 18 records which are matching with 36 records. See there. 18 records which are going to be of 36 records from the second file means that in the second table that is nothing but your states table there are 36 states data was there but from how many states we entered all the 36 states in the india maybe it includes all the states and union territories we added all the information there but currently the sales was done only from how many cities only only 18 seats sorry 18 states only that the transactions are able to be we have done the transaction Remaining whatever the 18 states or unit territories, maybe my business is not operating there. So see, the managers want to know it's not only so throughout the India, in how many states we have not yet started our transactions. Or let us say that in which states we can open a new, which is going to be, I want to expand my business. So in which cities or in which states currently we are not having, I want to open into an existing state where we are not yet established there. So if you want to know that kind of an information, then you know that where is the extra records are there guys state code, the state master is there, then I'll go for a join called as right outer join, I will go here now. Why I'm going for right outer join guys, why because as you know that the non matching records are there from right table, how many are there 18 out of the 36. So we'll get 7906 records which are matching, plus this extra 18 records which are not matching also we'll get it. So for the timing, I'm not doing that. I'm going for inner join. Now, what we, what is the problem with the inner join, guys? If you go to inner join, the reports, whatever the reports will generate now, will tell you only about the sales transactions, only in the states where the currently the company is operating. What about the companies? If tomorrow, if anybody asks me, let us say that if anybody asks you, saying that, can you generate a report in which states we are currently not operating? that information will not be available in your table. Why? Because that information you are not selecting. If you want in future, if you want to get that kind of an information, go for a right outer join. So what will happen? All the 18 states where the current transactions happening, that data will be there. And what about the 18 states where the current transactions are not happening? That information also will be maintained here, guys. So like this, we can go for that kind of. I'm going for inner join only, guys. I want to get 7,906 records only. Otherwise, what will happen? 7,906 plus that 18 records, guys. So that is 7,924 records will get as the data. If you want, you can check it out. But Vanshi, why do you not take city first? Anything is fine. City or state, both of them are independent, right? I'll take city or I'll take state. Generally, hierarchically, okay. which is the first state first or city first? Sir, this inner join will give only the matching records. Only and matching uh, records. Yeah. yeah, then what is the meaning? I mean, like, how do we include those records which are not matching in the inner join? It yes, will not uh, get right. It won't. It's giving the information, right? There are saying clearly it is saying that 18 rows of 36 rows are not matching. So what, what if the second table does not have the same number of records which the first table has? In that case, which uh, join we are going to have? That, that's why I'm saying that, Ro. So it depends on the data here. Now. See. In this case, which order, which join we have to use now? In this case, what join? Right if, if, outer join, if we use, we will get those records which yes, you said. Absolutely. Yeah. If we use left outer join, is there any use of that now? There is no use. No uh -huh. use. If we use left outer join or if we use inner join, both of them are? Same, isn't it? Why? Because 7906 are there. They're also 7906. So it depends on your data. So whether you want to get left outer, whether you want to get right outer. So that's why I explained that. See, if you feel that, uh, for example, if you are feel that, I don't require my client or my manager will ask only the sales related to only the states where the current operations are taking place. Then that if I was can part, go for inner join, right? That will go for inner join. Yeah. Okay. But tomorrow, my, my manager may ask me, they're saying that we are planning to extend our business. We are expanding our business, not in the current locations where already we have the business, but we want to start, we want to just start a new um, a new store or I want to start the expand our business in the states where currently the sales transaction was. Currently, we are not operating. If you want to get that information, now can you get that information here now? 
No, I don't get. Uh, I have to go for left outer joint. Yes, no, no, no. We have to go for right outer joint right. because the data is there. Yeah, right outer joint. Sorry. So it depends on that. So see, it's not mandatory that you have to do that. So why you are not getting? Just I'll show you the data. Just an example. I'll show you the data. Observe carefully. So this is right outer joint. Right now, right now you don't require any uh, that concept. Just for a small timing, uh, I'll expand the table. I'll show you once the pro the how the output will come. Just give me a second. This data is loading. Right. I'll expand the data also. So, for example, you see this. It is going to be state code is there. Just an example. State name I'm going for. This is the state name. Now, have a look into that. So, if I generate the report now, you will get only the data. There are totally how many states are there? Totally 36 states of data was there, right? Now, just example. Don't worry. I'll again, we'll again discuss it in the later classes. So where is the data was there? It is nothing but sales status was there, right? Uh, it's going to be the data was going to be car sales, right? So I'm going to set the what is going to be state name. And I'm going to state I'm going to get the state name is coming. And I want to get the what is going to be the sales ID. I want to require it. Just I want to know the count of the sales IDs. I just want to know the count of the sales IDs. Can you see that? Can you tell me how many states are there here now? Just an example, how many states will come here now? It is 18. 18, no doubt. No need to count it. It will be 18 will be there. Why? Because we have the sales. But what about the states where you are not having this, uh, where you are not having that particular sales is there? That information is not available here now. Then what we have to do is, depending on the requirement. So my, my manager is asking, so can you give me the list of the states where our operations are not taking place? Then what you can do is go back, uh, go to your data transformation. Then what we can do that simple, I'm going to go for the concept of the same concept. This merge queries are already done, right? So what I'm going to do is let me make this as an, did you make it as right? Just a minute, did you make it as right order join? Okay. Mm. You made it as right order join only, right? Just give me a second. Just give me a second. I'll just check it out whether data is coming correctly or not. I'll just check it out. Don't worry. You have to get 7,924 is coming. Yes, we are getting 7,924 is the data what we are going to be getting here now. Okay, save this once. This is the data. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is just an example. Let me try this Why you're not getting the sales. Just give me a second. It is, let me take a table. And let me take the, what is going to be the state name. And I'm going to get the, maybe it is due to the null value. We are not getting the data. We'll do one thing, just an example. I'm going to take the, what is going to be the sales ID. I'm going to take it. And I'm going to get the what is going to be the count of the distinct values. So you're not getting the zero. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. I think we got it. We got it. We got the values. Don't worry. We'll see that particular values. Yeah. Now, if you can observe carefully, guys, if you can just observe that particular data here now, we are getting, don't worry. We'll later we'll filter all the data and all these things. We'll do it later. But for the timing, if you want to know about the states, so actually we have to get count. We have to get it as zero. We are not getting the zero. Just give me a second. Let me verify that. Maybe when you're writing the count of distinct, it is coming fine. And when you are counting, we are getting the values because it is counting the number of values. It is coming as a null. Okay. For the timing, leave it. It does not matter later. Uh, we'll do that particular example later for the timing. So if you can see wherever the value is one is coming. So just for the timing, I can show you wherever the value is going to be coming as one. We can see that means in these states currently we don't have a transactions currently remaining. You can see, see in Andhra Pradesh, we have 781. So don't worry later. We'll see the application. So just for a small timing, what I'm going to do is let me apply the, which is going to be.
right so just don't worry for the timing just i want to show you so this is the data what we can get it but whenever we apply the inner join we don't get this kind of a data what we can see so see in this particular 18 states or whatever may be states and which is going to be union territories we don't have any sales in this particular currently 18 states these are the states where we are having the current sales now we'll do one thing go back and just make a changes to make this changes to an inner join once if you make it like an inner join here now and if it's just make it as apply close and apply or apply here now what we can see here now see there the data automatically changes there so go there and verify your report what is the report is going to shows you here on the right hand side it is showing any uh, states data related here are you getting any data it's zero zero why because we don't have the information so see there is nothing standard notations are there you have to go for left outer we have to go for right outer simple to say that are you expecting only the records or, or, or are you expecting only the data only based on the whatever the matching data is there we can go for the inner joins so if you require so if you're depending on your requirement do you require any such kind of a data where we are going to be having some kind of an some the data with the records which are not matching your condition do you want to get such kind of a records then we have to go for outer joins so which outer join we have to go so whether the non-matching records are there in first table or whether the non-records non-matching records are in right table according to that we have to merge see it. now in the state master table mm -hmm. we have state names and also count of sales column in that table no no and we added it we added it it's not count of sales ID. We added the column. Once we add the column, this is report level for the timing, leave it. Why? Because we added the column here now. Normally, there is no such kind of a yeah. column is there. We added yeah. that particular column here now. So, see, I, I, I mean, uh, sorry to ask, but yeah. I did not understand. Mm. What I understood is, now, the second time when we merge the tables, mm. yeah, mm -hmm. we did not go for a new one. We have gone for an existing one. Mm. That table is as a car sales table. Right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Same table. Then, yeah. And then second, uh, second table you have selected as state master, right? Mm, yes. Yes. State master. And then you have selected right outer join because mm. you are mm. saying that state master table has some other data where sales is not available. Yes, absolutely. But what is that column name that sales is not available? Can you show me the start state master table? Uh, once again, so it, there is no separate C. This is your state, sales, uh, which one you're asking about that? It's state, state master because second time merge we have taken. Uh, state we master will contain only two columns are there. State code is there and state name is there. Then where where is that sales are not uh, initiated in the states you said? Now, how, how did you find out? That it, it will be there in the, in the state name only it is there. There is no separate column does not comes. Sir, can you show me state master one? I'll show you. I'll show you the data. See, once again, I'll explain that. So in the last class, if you see, observe carefully, just once quickly, uh, I'll show no, you the, the concept. Data. I understood, don't see the concept. I understood, right? Yeah. Origin, I understood that. No, no, I'm not no, saying no. that. Just let me show you. Let me, let me explain from my side. Department number, if you select this, observe carefully. So what happened here is this is going to be, we have 10, easy to understand. I'm explaining that this is the data here. This is your DPT table, uh, another table where we are having a DPT NO. And I have a D name and some location is there. Here we have 10, 20, 30, 40 is there. So when you apply the left outer join or right outer join, whatever it may be, see, if I select the left outer join, what will happen now? So obviously there is an option to select both these columns, right? Yes. Yes. So now what happens now, if you select this, if, for example, if I select both these tables, what will happen here is this department number column will come. And this department number column will come. How the data will come? Can you tell me? Let us imagine that this is this department number. This is this department number. Can you tell me if this is 10, what is the value here? 10. 10. 20? 20, 20, 30, 30. 20, 30. 30. 30. Yeah. Okay. Next. What about the 50 here 50. now? Here what will come? Null. Null will come. If I said which is going to be 40 here, what will come here now? Null. Null. Null will come. Now this is the this is the data so now what we did now same state code id we have start state id or state code id whatever it may be here also we have a state code id is there it's easy to mm -hmm. understand one two three up to left hand side there are 18 state codes are there on the right hand side we have how many state codes are there 26 36 36 are there 
now what you are doing you are not selecting okay. this column right one second i'm saying the first state id belongs to which table left table that is nothing but car sales table yeah car sales table uh, on the right hand side obviously this is going to be your state master table is state master yeah uh, is so is understood okay. now so whenever we apply this particular joins when you apply the left outer join or right right, right outer join when you apply the left outer join what will happen no extra records will come when you apply the right outer join you are going to get this so now based on what column you are selecting that will be there if you didn't select this column you have only the values up to how many values only understood as Indeed. the manager asked to display the information that car sales is not mm -hmm. initiated in which state then you get the state you have taken right no. outer join yes because 18 19 are matching that mm -hmm. is normal it will display mm -hmm. and the left out with the sales are not initiated the remaining things it will also display obviously so now if you want to get the state names which are additionally you have to use this state name but st state name is common state name is going to yeah. be there i'm not using state name right i'm using state id will be there so what happens for example in goa there is no sales is there so here the state name goa will be there uh, goa will be there but there is no data will be there or this data is going to be becomes null is the data what will get it all the remaining data will be null i'll just show you if you want uh, i'll show you the data come here come here come to the which is going to be car sales data come down go to, i think we have applied inner join right we have to change it to inner join let me change it to right outer join now okay let me change it to right outer join so once if i apply to the right outer join simply click on apply come here here you can't see that means here is a little bit confusion we can have we cannot scroll down uh, it takes a lot of time i can scroll down but it yeah. takes a lot of time come here come here and scroll it to last you can observe carefully where know. is the data is yeah. there just a minute 7924 Uh, yeah. i'll do one thing because it is going to be the data is there so yeah. 7924 is coming 7924 is matching is correct only but yep. the data is going to be random i'll do one thing state name i will put the data in the ascending order i'll put it so that you can see the data here state okay, name i'm putting in the ascending order because just we want to see the data right that's it um state name right state name i'm putting in the ascending order i'm going to be putting here now okay Just a minute. It's going to be sorted by. Right. Can you observe carefully? What is the yes. state name? Can you see Andaman, Andaman Nicobar Nicobar. Islands? Yeah. Remaining all these data was null. Null. Empty. Is it right? Like Andaman Nicobar Islands, the sales is not initiated. Ah, uh, there is maybe the sales are not initiated, or company was not yet started with that. It may not be there. No, the business may not be there. And the car is not sold. Huh? Maybe first of all, the business was not operating at all. Okay. So we don't have. There is no mandatory that the company should be available in all the states of the India, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Again, one more, another two more. You can see this. Can you see there? Arunachal Pradesh, Assam. These are all values are going to be because uh, right side table has more number of uh, states, states and left has only less few, number of states. Less number of states mm -hmm. matching displayed and remaining shows null. Yes, so this is the one what we can see. Yeah, yeah. Let us say that, for example, if you want to know only the sales related to only related to the non, that means which are currently we are not operating at all. Then I will do one thing. I will yeah. go for right anti join. What is right anti join will do now? only the states where currently we are not doing any transactions only those particular records only we are going to be getting there isn't it so can you see there these are all your 18 records currently there is no sales at all all the data is going to be empty here now understood and if we do do this practically i i think that there will be a confusion you have to do, have to do it Yeah. Everything you have to do it practically. Without the practice, yeah. we cannot work on this. Just understanding the concept is easy. It appears to be very easy, but when you go for practical, then we have to understand the different different scenarios. So once again, I'm ex see the difference here is see there in merge join. If I apply inner joins, inner joins will display only currently where currently we are operating. We are currently operating in India. India may have total thirty six states, including states and union territories. 36 different locations or 30 different 32 36 different states but i apply the inner join when i apply the inner join i'll get only the states which are currently having currently only where the operations are taking place so only 18 states data only we are going to get it 
So that means right now, because you have not yet having the idea about how to uh, visualize the data and all these things, that is secondary case that we discuss it later. Right, right now it is not required. So as of now, because once you go to reporting, we'll understand the concept. So right now, if you can see, there is going to be only 18 states data only. It is going to be gets coming. Remaining whatever the 18 states where the transactions was not there. So if you can see there, if you want, I can sort the data here now. Sort the data according to the ascending order. So if you see, it is directly starting with Andhra Pradesh. There is no, uh, there is no Andaman and Nicobar Islands are not there. Why that information was not there? Why? Because we didn't select that extra, whatever that particular, uh, the, the states are there. Now let us go for this merged queries there, edit this, make it as a left outer join. If you make it left outer join, nothing difference you can find it off. We don't get anything. Why? Because left outer join will try to get the non-matching from right hand, left hand side table. Let me go for right outer join. Here we can see. Now if you see the data here now, you can see the started with Andaman Nicobar Islands. Can you see all this data is how much? Null is there. So here the scrolling is a little bit confusion because it's a time taking process. So avoid them. So that is the way how we have to work with them. This is the concept of how to work with this kind of a techniques. So all the non-matching records will come as well as matching records. So Andhra Pradesh where sales is taking place and Andaman Nicobar Islands where the sales was not taking place. If you go for right anti-join, I told you no, anti-join means nothing but only the records exclude the matching records. So the 18, whatever the states where the transactions are going on, See there, the selection excludes 18 of the 36 rows from the second table. Only the rows which are having, which does not have any matching data is there. Only those records will come. So currently, no operations are happening in this particular 18 states or 18 unit territories, what we can say. Understood now? Okay, so practice them, guys. You'll understand how to work with these particular concepts. Okay, so anyhow, these topics will be again repeated in the coming classes. Once again, we'll repeat them. So still you have a doubt. So don't worry. Just go up to the merging only. Just merge the data sets and verify them. Later, when you start with group by, again, we'll do one more case. Along with the merging, we are going to do some kind of a grouping the data. Then you will clearly understand. So how many groups are there? How many sales we have done in, in, Hyder, in uh, Andhra Pradesh or in Telangana, in Karnataka? How many states are there? How many states are not there? All that information, Hello. once again, we'll see it in the later classes, once again, guys. Right? Fine. So that's it for the today's class, guys. So just for today, I'll stop it here. So actually, we plan to complete of uh, append queries also today. So append queries are, um, I'm not going to, it will take some time, just 15, 20 minutes of time. So on the Monday's class, so tomorrow you don't have a class, guys. On Monday's class, so I'm going to cover up this append queries, and then I'll start with the transformations, guys. Okay, just 15 minutes topic is there. I'll complete off the Monday's class and then I'll go to the transform option. Okay, so tomorrow you don't have a regular class, guys. We don't have a regular class. So some people has joined lately. In this week, they have joined. So they have missed some classes, guys. So only tomorrow and day after tomorrow, guys. Day after tomorrow means Sunday also you'll have the class. Saturday and Sunday, tomorrow and day after tomorrow, same timing, 9.30 to 10.30 is your class timing. If it is required, I'll take one extra half an hour of time. And I'll take up the backup classes tomorrow, guys. If anybody wants to join the tomorrow's backup class, so tomorrow and day after tomorrow, that is Monday and Tuesday, sorry, Sunday and uh, Saturday, only two days only. Tomorrow and day after tomorrow, I'm going to conduct the backup classes. Whoever has missed the previous classes, once again, if you want to refresh the topic, you can join the tomorrow, day after tomorrow's class. But that will not be that much clear like what we have discussed. All the topics, whatever I covered up to now, up to now, Except merging, I think all of you have joined from the merging. Before merging, what has been happened? Up to those particular topics, tomorrow and day after tomorrow, I'll just take up the backup classes. Tomorrow means Saturday, day after tomorrow is Sunday. You are, as usually, you will be having the Monday's class starting from the appending queries will be there, guys. Okay, all of you? Anyone, guys, any questions? Yeah, I'll share that. Um, I'm going to share that. Um, um, I'll share that particular files also, whatever the files I have used now. I'll share the files. So please, any, everyone, please download those files also, guys. So the files are going to be, these are the files, right? Car sales transaction, ctmaster.xlsx file, sales status.csv file, and statemaster.xlsx file. These four files I have used. So please, all of you, download those particular files, guys. So tomorrow, once again, tomorrow the class will be at 9.30, guys. So there is not a regular class tomorrow. Only just the backup session. Why? Because some people has joined lately. So they have been joined starting from the transformation. 
before that what has been happened so to do i to learn that so i have been discussing the tomorrow's class tomorrow day after tomorrow will be backup session like a quick review guys i don't explain everything from the start from the basic level just a small idea some introduction for visualization all these things they have missed those topics and along with the what is how to install power bi how to import the data and just the basic transformations i'll discuss tomorrow and day after tomorrow we'll do it guys okay Where we get this file sir which files in um, chat window cha oh, okay in chat window if you open the chat window you will find the files so mm. you can just uh, put the pointer there just highlight the file there is a download button is there at the top right corner just click on that it will ask you where you want to save just you save it in your system okay sir yes everyone can join guys everyone can join with that same today's link only whatever the link you have used it today same link you please join for the tomorrow day after tomorrow's class sunday also we'll have the class guys okay fine <clears throat> right so that's it for the today's class guys just for today I'll stop it here we'll continue in the tomorrow so tomorrow is a backup session guys whoever wants who has missed the previous classes once again if you want to recap so tomorrow and day after tomorrow we'll have the backup classes and again from monday as usually i'll start with the append queries option i'll start on the monday's class guys okay thanks for today we'll meet up in the tomorrow's class thanks all of you guys thank you sir.